Hello, my fellow randoms. My name is Everyman117, also known as Simon, and welcome to a random show-off of Interstellar Marines. Now, I'd like to stop here for a second and say a couple of things. First of all is, uh, this is a new game, and if you have come to this video from one of two ways, you probably would have either A, seen your subscription feed from me, and you would have clicked on it to see what it was. Maybe you're interested in this game. Maybe you just want to see if there's a new game that you might want to try out. Uh, second of all, if you are looking at this game on Steam and you have gone and looked for gameplay videos or any sort of thing like that, you may have come across me if you have Googled me, right? So you probably have come to this video from Google looking for gameplay footage or some sort of thing. If you are, first of all, welcome to my channel. Second of all, please stay to the end of the video and you'll probably see anything you can about this game. So let me get into this game and let me try and be professional and concise and kind of, you know, just do what I have to do about this game. So first thing you need to know about this game is it is in early alpha. This game is unfinished at the moment. And why am I doing a video on it, you're asking? You're asking, well, uh, yes, uh, I did say you're asking twice, but uh, that's different. So anyway, uh, why am I doing a video on it? Why am I doing a video on an early alpha game apart from, you know, just showing off a game? Well, the reason is because A, I, it'll probably get me views. No, that's not the other, only reason. But B is because I am an altruistic person and I believe that if a game is an alpha and people are able to buy it on Steam, if I think it looks good and I buy it and I want to let people know what it's like so that they can either spend their money on it if they want to or not spend their money on it if they're not quite sure, well, I'm here to give you the uh, information you need to make that decision. It is, of course, entirely your decision and I cannot make it for you nor can anyone else. So this game does have some features in it at the moment. It does have quite... A, I just hit my mic. Apologies. Uh, it does have quite a bit of immersion in terms of how you feel as a character. But it doesn't really have that much gameplay in it outside of a multiplayer mode. Now, I'm not going... I may play multiplayer. I may do it... Just, like, go in there for a bit. But, uh, you know, what else? Also, um... The thing you need to know about this game is it is very loud. And let me just show you the settings for the moment. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot to it. You can change the quality settings to simple... At the moment, I'm pulling 30 FPS on the menu. I normally pull around 50 FPS. So this is not going to be the smoothest recording. I'll tell you that now. And if I go on, you know, multiplayer, I'm probably going to ask and do it. Hand it to me, not to us. You guys aren't playing. Not yet, anyway. But uh, another thing is that this game can get very loud, and there is no option to turn the sound down. So I've actually turned my sound down of my entire game, my, sorry, my entire system. So, you know, I'm going to have to change the sound values in editing for you guys so that you don't get blown away. These guns are loud, right? So I'm just going to play around, and I'm going to show you some of the features of this game. And like I said, I may show you some, uh, I may show you some actual gameplay, some multiplayer gameplay. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, you are, I said so a lot, but you are this character who is an unnamed random protagonist who is an interstellar marine. I have no idea what it is. We don't know a lot of story at the moment. This game, like I said, is an early alpha. It pretty much has nothing apart from multiplayer. But, like I said, this game has great immersion. You know, if I was to give it a rating at the moment based on its current status, which I have, I would say it's Immersion, 10 out of 10, Gameplay, 7 out of 10, and Story, 2 out of 10, because there's story, but we don't know it, all right? So, it's not in the game, it is there if you want to find it, but it's not there at the moment. So, what do you do in this game? This is a run-and-gun uh, tactical shooter, which is kind of along the lines of Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, if you've ever played the PC version, kind of feels a lot like that. It also has, as the developer stated, elements of Half-Life, the series, like Half-Life 2, Half-Life 1, obviously, there's only really been that, those two games and the uh, sort of expansions for them, which I haven't really played yet. I have them, but I've been meaning to play them. And it also has elements of games like Rainbow Six, so it has tactical shooter elements. So how does the game work, you ask, and why is it so immersive? Well, as you can see here, I do not have a crosshair. I do not have some sort of run-and-gun, hip-fire crosshair, which I can somehow see with my naked eyes, which just is not realistic in any way, shape, or form. I do not like Call of Duty. Uh, I do not even like Battlefield for that particular reason, but oh well. So, basically, it's realistic in that if I were to fire right now, I'd have no idea what I'm aiming at. I mean, do you guys think that I can line up the point that I'm aiming between this gun, like looking at my barrel and what I'm trying to hit? No, I can't. I, I can't aim accurately. I know I'm aiming in the general direction of that box, but I don't know where I'm aiming in the box. The interesting thing about this game is also there's a day-night cycle, but I'll get to that in a second, is that you can hit G to activate your laser sight and more accurately fire from the hip. Also, when you actually run out of ammunition, you actually have to manually reload by pressing R, and if you don't do that, you're going to die. 
Also, the gun has a flashlight, or torch, as most people call it, but it's it's called a flashlight in this game, so I think it'd probably be a uh, good idea to call it such. Um, and that basically, you know, illuminates light areas. I'm not trying to sound like, oh, it, it illuminates dark areas, it, it lights things up, you know, like a lot of people will if they're trying to explain this. I'm just saying, you know, it lights up things, and you don't want to use it that often because it's a death sentence. That's another thing about this game, is that everyone can see your laser, everyone can see your flashlight, and they will shoot you and locate you because of it. So generally, you know, you can sneak around in dark areas, but you're not going to see what you're doing. So it's a bit of it's a bit of a problem. It's not a bad thing about the game. It makes the game very intense when the uh, day-night cycle cycles to dark. You're in an interior area, and all the lights just go out, and it's pitch black, and you can only see with your flashlight. So like you hide in a corner, and you see someone's flashlight, and then you just unload into them. It's really cool. It also means you can see people uh, who are coming around a corner. If I, for example, have my laser sight here. Someone who's around the corner can see my laser sight and can probably, you know, prepare themselves for my for my arrival. Now, that's not the only thing about this game. This gun is possibly the most satisfying gun I've ever used in any form of FPS game. And that's saying a lot right now, but the sights just feel great. And the gun, when it feels, feels so nice and controllable, but not too realistic. It's nice, I said it's satisfying, I didn't say it was realistic, but it just feels good. It's just a great feeling gun. And that's probably one of the best parts about the game is the gun. So, another thing about the game is, I mentioned it's immersion. You can actually, you see the visor here? That's not just a HUD. That is actually a physically present combat visor. If I would hit H, I can actually raise and lower the helmet, which has various effects. For example, if it's rainy and you can't actually see your HUD, sorry, you can't actually see in front of you, you can raise your helmet. Now, the funny thing, and the game actually totes this, is that your, sorry, any light actually interacts with your visor. So I've actually haven't noticed this to work, but if I'm going to try it now and it does work. So I'm looking at that light up there. I'm going to lower my visor and it, it kind of looks pretty much the same. In fact, I can see it through the bit of my uh, helmet, which is meant to be opaque, but oh well. So uh, apparently that feature either isn't implemented yet, or I'm just not seeing it properly with my current level of graphic settings, so don't quote me on that, but if it is the same for you, then it is something which they should probably rectify on the Steam Store page, in that it doesn't work, but who knows. So, that's pretty much all there is to the game at the moment, you know, you have certain maps with day-night cycles, which I will get to in a second once again, and you just pretty much walk around with another team of three people, it's a 4v4 match, and you kill each other, it's a death match, and whoever wins, you know, whoever gets the most kills wins. The game does take a bit of getting used to, and I wouldn't recommend talking on Skype on it, because although the ping of the service does appear to be good, any other form of... Well, let me just raise my visor so I can actually see. Haha, -ha, see? Um, it does appear that any other form of internet usage in the background probably is going to affect you to the point where you lag just enough that you don't have a competitive advantage. So, right, so let's talk about the maps, shall we? Before I actually get into a multiplayer game or even try that, or I'm just going to tell you about the uh, features of the game, is the maps. The maps are the core of any multiplayer FPS at all. These maps, they're pretty well crafted actually, they have the nice feel of sci-fi, you know, they feel very immersive in that they are what they're intended to be, they they work well with what the game is designed to be, it's meant to be a futuristic first person shooter with great immersive elements, and it does that, you know, these feel like scientific science fiction space marine places, and it's really kind of cool, but the coolest part is, as I mentioned, the day-night cycle. Imagine this. Imagine you're fighting on a map with your friends, maybe, or maybe without your friends, and then all of a sudden, the map you're on goes dark. I'm talking pitch black. It's raining, there's thunder. You know, you can't see a goddamn thing unless you illuminate your flashlight. So, but of course, if you illuminate your flashlight, you are probably going to be located in a death sentence. So you have to try and grope your way in the dark, navigating yourself only by the sounds of footsteps and distant thunder flashes, as well as, you know, gunfire. As well, and people who actually have their flashlights on or their laser sights on, which are a lot easier to see in the dark. So it's a very, very atmospheric game, and they are working on it to the point where they're going to be adding aliens, co-op, PvE elements, which for those of you who don't know, which should be everyone, uh, I mean, everyone should know, player versus environment, which is kind of just like the Call of Duty campaigns or MMOs that, you know, just let you fight creatures rather than other people. So it basically means there'll be maybe some form of campaign, some form of horde mode, who knows? It, it might be a generic shooter, it might be a new shooter, but who knows? But that's the, uh, that's the basics of the game, so if you came here looking for straight out information on the features, that's it, you can leave now. If you'd like to leave the gameplay to yourself, please feel free to leave now. I am going to go, and I am going to try a multiplayer game, 
Probably going to get my ass handed to me because I am recording and my FPS is not going to let me win. But this is for all of you who want to actually see what the gameplay is like. Now, if you look at the uh, servers, you may notice that this one here only has six ping. A lot of these servers actually have some pretty decent ping, and there are now currently 16 player servers, which is 8v8. But I'm not going to do that because I have a feeling that that will probably kill my... Oh, apparently one of the servers just uh, upped its ping or something. Oh, well, uh, I'm just going to go here, and please be warned, this is one of those games where concentration is required, and I may not be talking as much, so please keep that in mind. I'm just going to go into this game, and I'm going to play for maybe, I don't know, a little bit, just to give you guys enough of an idea of how the game works. So, let's try it, shall we? As you can see... The map is dark as hell, and I can't see without my flashlight, so... Okay, there's my teammate. Kind of scared the crap out of me for a second. Is that a guy? Oh, that... Okay. There are no kill cams in this game, so when you die, you die, and you have absolutely no idea where you're killed from. I'm probably going to die a lot here, because I A, can't see a goddamn thing, and B, I kind of am recording, so it's not going to be all that great on my frame rate. So I'm just going to activate my laser sight here, so I can hit fire up like a madman if necessary. I'm probably going to be seen by pretty much everyone in their dog, walking around with my flashlight, but I can't see otherwise. So, oh dear, good god. Oh uh, dear, I just kind of lagged out there for a second. I'm pretty sure that's not my FPS, I'm pretty sure that may have been lag, so lag just killed me. Alright, so let's just uh, turn on the flashlight and the laser sight. I'm probably going to die a lot, guys, but you know, this is the gameplay. It's... Pretty generic team deathmatch at the moment, you know, Alpha versus, not Alpha, uh, Delta versus, take, oh god damn it, I should have used my sights, the hip firing is not good at that distance. The cool thing about this game is, the hip fire of the gun is actually pretty precise. Oh god, come off and I shot you. The hip fire of the gun is actually pretty precise, you can't just have, you know, you can't shoot the gun at hip fire and just have the, uh, the bullets come out at right angles to the goddamn barrel, which is just impossible. I always hated those uh, hip fire accuracies of those weapons in, you know, standard FPS games because it's just impossible where the thing actually comes from. The bullet comes out of the barrel at a straight rate. Sure, you don't know where you're aiming, and the whole inaccuracy while hip firing is a good way to uh, simulate that you don't actually know what you're aiming and you're not precisely aiming at the target. But in reality, if I hip fire and use a laser sight here. I'm still going to get pretty accurate fire, just I can't aim that accurately at eight at uh, distances. So sights are generally just better. All right, see if I can kill this guy. Oh damn it! Move out of my way before I actually manage to. Oh god! Oh dear god! I got my ass handed to me because oh well, it's a, you know it's a reflex shooter. You you have good reflexes, you do well. You have bad reflexes, you do badly. As you get into the game, you get better at it, and uh, you probably will die less. I managed to have a couple of good rounds where I was actually able to um, get like 11 kills and was actually the leading person on my team for a while, but I wouldn't say I'm a good person at this game. Come on, come on, come Oh god, I shot you! Come off it! Ah oh, well. If you're new to the game, it can be fairly rage-inducing in its, you know, it's sort of unforgiving, you know, it's very realistic in how easy it is to kill someone. Oh, is that a person? No, that was a piece of plant. Hello. Yay! Killed someone! I can die happy now! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, that was... That actually felt kind of intense. Like I said, it's, it's very generic team deathmatch. There's not much more I can say about that. Was that a laser? I thought I saw a, a light there. So, maybe it does actually play around with your combat visor. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that I actually saw, like, a reflection of laser. Also, if you use a laser on a tree, you may notice that... Oh, that's only in snowy areas, isn't it? You may actually notice that the tree lights up all red. It's quite funny, because you can actually see lasers through trees and all that. So, generally, you just get the feel of the battlefield, and you can sense when there are people nearby. Oh, hello there. Hey, another kill! Completely hip-firing. This is probably why you don't use your sights, because hip-firing is too good. Honestly, you only use your sights if you're trying to hit someone at a good distance. Otherwise, it's just best to hip-fire. Spray and pray, they say. Another thing about the game is you have infinite ammunition. There's no running out of ammunition. There's only one gun, so it is kind of, you know, alpha is alpha in that sense. There's only one gun to use, like I just said. And, uh, it kind of feels a bit... Oh, two of them there. I'm not sure if the guy who was next to me killed me, or if it was the two guys apart across from me. But one of them certainly killed me, and it was three on one, so that was hardly less than optimal. Hardly fair, I should say, and it was less than optimal. Is that someone? Is that someone? No, that was a shadow. <laughs> It's very difficult to uh, see who's who because there is a shadow. Of course, there is uh, little markers above your friendlies. It's kind of easy not to shoot them, but accidents do happen sometimes. 
And uh, you can, of course, accidentally shoot your teammates, which I've done occasionally when I'm trying to kill someone and my teammates are right next to them. It's it's interesting, you know. I think I'll just go one more time until I die, and then I'll end it there because I think I've made my point here. Hey, it's me, you dickhead. Ugh, oh, apologies for swearing, but come on, there's like a marker above my head. Oh well, I've I've made mistakes, so it's hardly fair to go. Oh, that was a person over there. Is there anyone in here? No, there is not. Who are you shooting at? Is it? There's someone in here. Oh God, there you are. Yay, got him. Sweet, another kill. There's not much more I can say about this, like I've said, because, you know, at this point it's kind of just, I'm shooting until I die, which might be soon or it might be ages, but, you know, hopefully this means a little bit more time for you guys to see, and I'm kind of talking when I don't really need to be talking, but I feel like if I'm not talking, there's an empty void of talking. I just hit my, while scratching my face, I just hit my, uh, headphones. Fantastic. Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here? Hello? Honestly, it's best to kind of just spray and pray around corners if you need to because your laser sight will give away your location, and, uh, spraying and praying work, sadly. Oh god, I just killed my teammate. That was an accident. Oh dear, indeed. Is there anyone here? You must always check your corners in this game, otherwise you will have people surprising you. Better reload, because a full magazine is better than no magazine. Which is kind of, you know, common sense. And you know what, I don't think I'm gonna knock, I'm not gonna wait till I die. Thank you very much for enjo watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it, but uh, if you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified when I release new videos. If this video has helped you, you know, you can leave a comment asking any questions, you can leave a comment saying it helped you. But, uh, okay, there you go, I died. You know, that's the game. That has been Interstellar Marines. No winner has been, oh, it was a tie. Apparently, I only got three kills in that match. Oh well, so. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified when I release new videos. If you would like to help my channel, please consider sharing this video with your friends so they can be notified of it. If you came here looking for gameplay, I hope that helped you, and hopefully you can decide a new game. If you would like my opinion on this game, it's fun, but unless, of course, you know... Oh, there's a mission here, which uh, apparently does nothing. So, there you go. If you're looking for a nice, immersive first-person shooter, this is kind of good at its moment, but if you know, it may not actually be very uh, good in future. It may not develop very far, because apparently the game hasn't changed that much over some long periods of time. It's only a two-man dev team, I think, so it may not be that great to invest in it right now, although it is cheaper right now if you really do have the opinion that it will get far. So I think I've rambled on for long enough. My name has been XavierMan117, also known as Simon. And I will see you guys next time I make a video. And until then, I will see you later.